Hello and welcome back to Repton's Voyage Around the Bottom of the Ocean. And we can see this one's set out like a submarine. But just because of the picture, I don't think it's easy. And it might be a bit confusing at the start, but we are blocked into this area with a line of safes that you can see Repton running across the top of now. You can see there's a safe there because the jellyfish there is not getting out. And there are quite a few clams around this area which we'll have to join to the outside and you've seen our jellyfish go past us there. So we'll just link those two up first off and grab this wheel we made available to go to that one. And I'm etching out a path in the seaweed here, you'll see what that's about later. I'm not collecting that oxygen tank because we don't need it yet and it's quite important later on too. So you see that clam's been uh, opened up for us and this clam has two. And you can see there's some fungus up in the top corner so we're best off taking this clam straight away. So we pop down into this bottom area to get to this transporter. And this is a nice little thing, we have to run past these jellyfish. We've got to make sure they're kind of on the um, other side of the water where we're travelling. And a nice little headache inducing maze with the diamonds and skulls. Since you've kind of got to defocus and kind of pay attention to the light patches to get through. And we have to dispose of a octopus which is quite easy to see, we've got some narrow corridors so it's n no chance of really going above us there. And we get out of this area pretty quick because we've let out quite a bit of the fungus. And we don't want to drop that wheel straight down onto the octopus because there is actually a safe in that bottom area. Obviously we can't see it at the moment. And when we come across here we have to arrange all these wheels over here quite cleverly because we will need some of them later on. So coming down here we grab our torch and we drop these wheels down. Now you can see one of them's moved away from the outside and that's why we've arranged the seaweed in a certain fashion. Because otherwise they would just fall down and get stuck near to that outside wall. It took me a while to figure that out too. I was a bit confused just staring at it saying, Huh? What am I supposed to be doing here? But I eventually got it so that's good. So we let this jellyfish out to open a passage through here and we need to keep those pearls below us in place because they serve as a platform for these um, wheels that we're dropping down here otherwise they'd roll off into the area to the right there and stop us from bridging a gap to one of these other clams. And we need quite a lot of these wheels to bridge a gap to that clam down there so we use these ones we bridged uh, that one clam up there with and then we've got to get a few more and that's why I arranged these wheels up here so I can get four more from up here so now comes the up and down part which I'm swimming up and down quite a lot Not much to say about this, but we can see the fungus spreading inside the middle area there. Repton's glad he's not in there at the moment. It would be getting quite claustrophobic. So here we go, we've got one wheel left up here now, but we're going past it because we have these pearls to grab. And as I said, there's that one in the corner there, so we didn't want to drop that one wheel down to get rid of the octopus while we were in here to start off with. And yes, push that one across because we could end up trapped in that corner there and that wouldn't be good after all this effort. So here we go, the last wheel to drop down and I'll grab the uh, oxygen tank and hang on, it's not connected yet, what's... oh, there we go. <laughs> so we go to the first jellyfish that we saw on this level and now let him out collect up the rest of the pearls that we've got around here now whilst that jellyfish swims over to his destination. And yes this is a pearl it's quite easy to trap if you're not careful about how you collect the rest of the things around it. So here we go. 
some little pea there now. So this is quite a involved level here. We're coming up here at the start to make uh, things accessible later on. And I've left one of the, well, a couple of the pearls up there and they're quite important for now. Deal with this octopus quite promptly. And that bit of seaweed that was above us just then is quite important to keep in the same place. You'll probably see later why that is. And we can see all the jellyfish here are all kind of clustered together. So at the moment we're making a way through to this clam over here. And then we just kind of open this up and hide in the corner here. But we've, they go past because we've got something to do here. To stop the one boulder rolling off the wrong way. So we come through here to make that clam available in the top there. And then we pop down because the jellyfish will be swimming up that way. There they go. And we make this clam available and get a octopus to deal with. And then another, another octopus to deal with too. But fortunately they're quick to dispose of. And we come down here to collect the treasure now because as you can see there's one um, wheel on top of a safe there. And if we did collect this uh, torch then it would have ended up trapping that treasure. But Tom wouldn't be too pleased with that. Now we push that wheel across there because that area down the bottom there is quite important. We don't want to get too many of uh, those wheels to drop down there. We have to arrange these quite carefully because, you know, even though it seems like we had that one access way into getting towards the uh, torpedo, we've actually got to be careful to keep that way we just come out of free because the one access way is no longer an access way we've just dropped a load of wheels down there so now we can grab that pearl there and you may have seen me leave that one pearl there and it's quite important because we need to drop the one wheel down into that position and then when we come up around here we're not trapped uh, with the wheel about to drop on our head when we move away from that point Anyhow, we can clear up the rest of the pearls from this area now. And so we go through the transporter. I was wondering, you know, is this the time I go for the transporter? Yes, it is. So we've got another octopus, but we'll set things up nicely here to get rid of him in a jiffy. See, we're pretty much done here now. We've got this uh, last little area, which I'll be going into in a moment, where I said that we left the seaweed there for an important reason. This is why we need to drop this down to make an exit to that area. But if we dropped it down without that seaweed in place, then we would have blocked off the entrance to the area. So then we're going to drop these other boulders down now. It's quite a lot and so we didn't really want to do that any earlier. So now we can just go round to the access route and go to the torpedo. That's it for now, I'll see you on the next episode.